Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J here to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Going to take a look at one today from out of Milton, Delaware. This is going to come from Dogfish Head Brewery. It is their Romantic Chemistry IPA. So this IPA actually comes in at an ABV of 7.2%, 40 IBU. It tells us on the label, an India Pale Ale brewed with mango, apricots, and ginger. What you have here is a serious IPA shackling up and hunkering down with mangoes and apricots at the same time. So that's how they are kind of positioning this beer. I've had this one actually in the past but I had not done a review. So I'm going to go ahead and run through this one and give you an idea of what to expect. Let's get it open and get it going. So on this beer, as you can see, as far as the appearance, actually came out with a pretty decent pour. Got me about two to three fingers of head on that one. The color on it actually is a very dark, I would say, orange color. Um, pretty much like the sun had just went down. Well, maybe a little darker than that even. I guess uh, maybe like a dark copper color might be the best explanation. And the head itself actually sits pretty much as uh, just off-white color head, maybe like a bone type color has a nice foaminess to it that should break down nice to lace the glass. As far as anything else with it, you have like a little bit of a haze there being shown on the beer. Can't really see much of the carbonation even when you get it to the light. And when you're out of it, you definitely can't see it. But um, it's a decent one. I think this one may be bottle conditioned, but again, it doesn't note this on here and I am not totally sure but it doesn't have that clarity of a lot of the ones that are actually filtered to the glass or to the bottle rather as far as the aroma yeah the first big note that you have is the mango is the apricot um, that actually jumps out of this one and then you have a slight bit of that dankness from the hops but it's kind of got like that feel of the aroma like um if you're making like a fruit bowl type dish in the morning to go with your breakfast, it's just those mangoes and apricots do smell pretty fresh coming out of the glass. Not getting as much of the ginger, a little bit of a spice, but not really too much. That's kind of more hidden in the background. But a decent smelling beer overall as far as how they positioned it. I actually pick up, I guess it's the apricot, but it does have almost like a little bit of that tangerine feel as well that you get on other IPAs but there's no bitterness on the back end. It's just up in that front when you do that initial um, taste of the beer and then it kind of has a nice break. But you do feel it heavily up front on that tip. The flavors do open up a little bit more in the mouth. Duration seems about average. Um, the body itself sits as a nice, to me, medium to full body um, texture very sturdy not too thin not too watery at all you definitely get all the um, qualities of the beer without it being that feel where it might be slightly watered down or anything carbonation sits very well very palatable in that regard but as far as the feel even on a bigger size gulp it still doesn't have that much harshness on the back end which is nice and that's where I actually feel a little bit more of the apricot after the swallow I feel the apricot flavors a little bit more into the uh, the neck type area and up into the back of the mouth. But decent as far as going down, decent as far as drinking. The lacing is taking place as I mentioned earlier should and that's all over the glass nicely. It has a little bit of kind of a juiciness type quality to it which I also like on this one. But overall a very solid beer which Dogfish Head does make some pretty good craft beers out there. I think it's got a nice quality to it that kind of gets the mouth tingling I feel like everything is happening inside because of that juiciness so it's kind of a nice refreshing quality to it along those lines as well and as far as drinkability like I said it goes down pretty easy I think it's a very solid IPA if you've had it before let me know what you think uh, I'd like to hear any of your feedback as well but for me who I do enjoy a lot of IPAs I think this is definitely one I would drink again as well. So there you have it, the Romantic Chemistry IPA. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw there. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And hey, keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.